Hey everyone, Derek here with a quick news update on Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now we've already done an update on the Game Informer article that revealed some more details on the games, but there's actually even more information beyond the fact that Pokemon not appearing in Sword and Shield will still appear later in the series, which to be honest, duh, nobody really expected them to be cut entirely, it's just they weren't going to be in Sword and Shield itself. However, there are some other details in here that could be rather interesting. And the first is that they revealed that an autosave is in Pokemon Sword and Shield, but it can be turned off if you so wish. So that could be handy for newcomers while still maintaining the classic feel of the series. In addition, it's been confirmed that HMs do not return in the game, which is to be expected at this point. It's been a long time since HMs have been in a Pokemon game. They know people didn't really like them, so it makes sense to phase them out. It's also been revealed that the EXP share is automatic without the use of an item in Pokemon Sword and Shield. However, it is unclear whether this feature can be turned off or not. It seems odd that they would force to leave it on since it's always been a choice up to this point, but it might be changed in the future, it's hard to say. But if I had to guess, it's likely going to be able to be turned off. It just won't involve an item that you have to be given towards the beginning of the game. You'll likely have it from the start, and my guess is that you'll be able to turn it off if you so choose. What's also rather interesting is that the article implies that even more aspects of a Pokemon will be changeable in Sword and Shield, specifically aspects left to breeding, hinted as a personality parameter. So it's unclear exactly what this means, but it seems like players will be able to customize their Pokemon to be exactly how they want, or at least make that a little easier than the constant breeding and hoping that you get what you want. Hard to say for sure, but these are interesting new aspects for Sword and Shield, or at least something that we can confirm. But the biggest revelation of all has to be the fact that the director, Shigeru Omori, confirmed that there will be 18 gyms in the game, meaning one for each type. According to him, they are split into major and minor leagues. He says there are 18 different types of gyms in the story, and depending on the version, which gyms are in the minor league and which gyms are in the major league are different. For example, in Sword, the fighting type gym will be in the major league, but in Shield, the ghost type. The idea is that every year the Galar region is playing and which gyms make it into the minor league versus the major league changes. And while this is a bit hard to wrap my head around as far as exactly how it's going to play out, whether the minor league gyms are just sort of an extra that you can do or you have to do them as you go through the major leagues, it's hard to say. But the fact that every type has its own gym is really exciting and a great addition for the series that I think a lot of people will enjoy. But who knows, maybe I'm off on that. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments, and of course be sure to subscribe to Game Explain for more on Pokemon and other things gaming as well. Until next time, bye.